Hi, my name is Julia Reed and I'm the content director for Bensonwood Homes. I'm here today at our manufacturing facility in Keene, New Hampshire, where we prefabricate the panels that come together to form the airtight shell that is the base for all of Bensonwood's open home, custom, and unity buildings. Today, the crew is working on a unity xyla. Join me as we follow this project from virtual fabrication through prefabrication on our shop line. At Bensonwood, we like to say that we build everything three times. Once in a 3D model, again in the factory, and one last time on site. It all begins with design. In Unity homes, like the one we'll be seeing on the line today, wall, ceiling, and floor panels are pre-engineered. A lot of Bensonwood's building science went into every component and connection, and by standardizing this process, Unity is able to offer high-quality homes for a lower cost than fully custom builds. That said, there is still a fair amount of customization a homeowner can make within any Unity model, and no two homes are exactly alike. Open home and custom homes, which allow for more customization, will spend even more time in this crucial stage. Once the design has been finished and approved by the client, it moves into what we call VFAB, or virtual fabrication. At this stage, the virtual fabrication team will collect all of the information about the home, from the schematic design blueprints, to notes about specific wood types and finishes, and build it within CAD. The design and engineering teams will also provide a rough CAD model outlining the shape of the home, but it's up to the VFAB team to break these designs into panels that can be physically built in our shop, fit efficiently on the trucks that will ship them, and fit together exactly when they're assembled on site. VFAB is also responsible for populating the virtual model so it can be read by the machines on the shop floor, adding studs, framing rough openings for windows, doors, and MEP, and any other detail required for a successful build. Every member of our VFAB team has experience building Bensonwood homes on site and on the shop floor. Anticipating the needs of the general contractor later on is crucial at this stage of the process. For instance, if a design indicates drywall is to be hung, the VFAB team will add additional studs and nailers to the model that will then be installed in the areas where they know the general contractor will be looking to attach the wall. Close collaboration and teamwork between the design team, engineering, VFAB, shop, and team leaders give Bensonwood's building system an edge, with many hands assessing and giving feedback on structural designs through the entire building process. Virtual fabrication begins by breaking the home into panels, which will be prefabricated in our shop and shipped to site. We group, or bundle, the panels according to size and build sequence, ensuring the most efficient use of space on the trucks that will ship them, and ensuring that connecting components will always arrive together in the order they will be assembled. Because space can be limited on some build sites, this is critical for keeping schedules on track when our crews begin assembly. Here you can see a list of all the trucks we use to ship, including their weight, height, and length capacities. Building shop leaders review the weight and dimensions of each panel within every bundle and make sure the bundles can be shipped safely. Preserving the integrity of our panels is extremely important to creating the airtight seal that makes our homes so energy efficient. Even though Bensonwood works with outside contractors to install our mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, these systems are mapped out by the design and engineering teams and incorporated into our builds. VFAB engineers use the schematic drawings provided by the architects and engineers to mark the locations of every pipe, wire, and fitting, so a space for each can be routed into the wood as it moves through the CNC machine and crews can accurately place them into the finished panels. Once the shell is assembled, the MEP trades can easily install their systems without ever penetrating the sheathing that houses and protects each panel's studs and insulation. This also means the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing hardware can be accessed by future contractors for repairs or upgrades, again, without disturbing the airtight shell. Let's take another look at the Xyla being built today as it exists in CAD. For this project, the homeowner has selected a truss roof, as you can see here. Peeling back each layer, you can see every detail of the home that will be prefabricated in our facility, including interior walls and ceilings. Let's take a look at an individual exterior wall panel from this home. Here you can see every element of the wall in the exact place those elements will end up in the final build. Not only can you see structural elements such as studs and sheathing, but the VFAB model also allows you to see every individual nail and fastener. Even the smallest details are accounted for. 
You can also see that the panel is labeled according to where it belongs in the house. Digging deeper, you can see that each element within the panel has been assigned a unique label. We'll come back to that in a moment. Once the home has been assembled virtually and all departments have reviewed it for quality, the completed VFAB model is exported as shop drawings that can be referenced by our team on the floor and on site, and as machine files that will inform each machine on the line where to cut, notch, drill, fasten, and insulate. The process starts at the CNC machine, which reads the machine file to cut every individual stick to its exact specifications. The machine then pulls raw material from the stack and cuts them exactly as they've been modeled, whether they're a simple stud or a compound rafter. Remember those labels from the VFAB process? Each piece of wood that comes out of the CNC machine is marked with identifying information, indicating which panel and bundle it belongs to, its sequential number within the panel, and even markings for stud and framing layout. Once the materials for an individual panel have been cut, they move to the framing station. Here, Evan uses a PDF shop drawing generated from the CAD model to match the numbers printed by the CNC machine on each stick back to the virtual model. Meanwhile, the machine is also reading the virtual model. Tandem framing nailers position and nail studs at exactly 24 inches on center and square to the plates. An upcut saw and plate menders cut all rough openings for windows and doors. This machine can frame a 30 foot wall in three minutes. The completed frame then moves to the interior sheathing station. Here, Josh applies construction adhesive, then Tommy uses a vacuum lift to move the sheathing into place. They'll manually tack the sheathing to make sure it doesn't move, but then the multifunction bridge takes over using, you guessed it, a machine model generated from the CAD model to first nail the sheathing and then trim the rough openings. A vacuum shrouds the router bit so the cutting is nearly dust free. Next, interior strapping is applied, forming the service layer for the Open Build Plus OB Plus wall, which is our adaptive system to accommodate wiring and plumbing. With the sheathing attached and service layer prepped, the panel moves to the butterfly bay where it's flipped over so the open stud cavity is exposed and ready for insulation. Cellulose, which is made from recycled paper, is blown into each stud bay according to the R value of the panel. Every stud bay requires a different amount of fill and these are pre-programmed into the machine. Even though we know these machines are incredibly accurate, it is integral to the future performance of the home that the cellulose density is correct. That's why every single panel is tested to ensure proper insulation density before it moves down the line to be sealed. Once again, you see our crew applying construction adhesive, using the vacuum lift to apply sheathing that serves as the weather resistant barrier and sending it through a second multifunction bridge to be nailed shut and routed. The seams of the sheathing are then carefully taped and rolled, completing the weather resistant barrier on the exterior surface. The panel then moves into this area called the gantry. Here, Ray attaches metal guides to the sides of a panel and slips track runners onto the bottom. He then uses the butterfly lift to set the frame upright onto the track runners and onto the tracks where it can be pushed into the gantry. It is here that the cutouts will be taped to finalize the weather seal before being fitted with European mount triple pane windows and doors. Again, this work is designed to position windows at a height where workers don't have to bend over or contort themselves to work on them. You can imagine it's much easier, safer, and improves quality control to prep and install windows and doors in a controlled environment at our factory, rather than from a ladder on site where weather conditions may not be ideal. Once the panels are complete, they're bundled with the other panels they'll make their voyage to the job site with. Every bundle is sealed with boat wrap, which protects them from the elements while they await pickup and while they're on the truck. This protective plastic won't be removed until immediately before they're installed in order to protect the materials from start to finish. Bundles are staged in the order they'll be needed on the job site with the goal being to complete the weather tight exterior shell of every house within three to four days.
We hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of Bensonwood's VFAB and prefabrication facilities. If you have questions about anything in this video, my colleagues Allison, Beth, and Sarah are live in this session to answer them. Thank you for joining our presentation, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the Nessie Conference.